Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be looking at area. And I'm going to be starting off with looking at the area of a rectangle like this. Okay, so with the area of a rectangle, area is different to perimeter in that perimeter is looking around the length of the outside of the shape. The area is looking at how much space does the shape take up. How much space is within that shape. Now, if you know two of the dimensions, so that means if you know the width of the shape, so let's say the width of the shape was uh, six centimeters, and the height of the shape, and let's say that that was 10 centimeters, then if you know those two lengths, then what you've got to think about is a shape that is divided up into six pieces along the bottom, 10 up the top, okay, so we've got 6 by 10, and so we would actually have 60 squares in the middle, okay, this would be taken up by 60 squares, 6 along the bottom, 10 up the side, so 10 lots of 6, 60, and so we could say that the area is 6 times 10, which is 60 centimetres squared. Now, that's how we can work out the area of a rectangle. It's just multiplying the base by the height. So, if we now look at a triangle, well, for a triangle, if I just divide this shape into two pieces along its diagonal, like that, and I just concentrate my attention on that half, well, that would be a triangle. And so, actually, Finding the area of that triangle, that right angle triangle, is just going to be half of the area of the rectangle. And so it's actually a half of 6 times 10. So a half of 60, which is 30 centimetres squared. So the area of the triangle is just 30 centimetres squared. So in general, what you can do is to find the area of a triangle, multiply the base by the height, and then halve it, okay? Or half base times height. So this extends to a triangle that would look something like this. So let's draw another triangle. Like so. Now, it's not immediately obvious how, how this could be half of a rectangle, okay? But you could imagine this as half of a shape looking like that. So half of a parallelogram. And then if you chopped off that bit of the triangle and then put it onto there, you would be left with a rectangle. Okay, so that's quite a complicated kind of image to set yourself. But you can also do this in much the same way as we did for that first example. But you need to know the height, the vertical height from the base to the very tip of the shape. So if I know that that base is of length, let's say... Um, eight meters and the height of the triangle is seven meters then the area is half of eight times seven half of base times height so half of eight times seven is 56 so half of 56 is 28 so it would be 28 metres squared. And the units, as you can see, okay, is because we're looking at an area of square centimetres. How many square centimetres fit into it? How many square metres fit into it? So you can see that actually the calculation doesn't change, but the shape can look in slightly different. Now, let's look at the more interesting problem. A 
let's say I had a triangle that looked like that. Now with this one, it's a similar case. Let's say that this is uh, three centimeters, and I also let's let's throw in a few other measurements. I also know that this length is four centimeters. Okay, and this length is six centimeters, and this length. is, um, well, let's say, three centimetres. So what I've done here is I've put in some measurements that um, are of actually red herrings. So the area, as we know from these two examples, was half the base times the height, the perpendicular height. And it's exactly the same here you may well be given a diagram that has more information on it than you actually need. The base is this length here, okay, the three centimetres. The height isn't the six centimetres, it's not the four centimetres, it's the three centimetres, the actual vertical height of the shape. So the four and the six are there to throw you off and to confuse you and to make, to test whether you know what you're doing. So actually what we have is a half of 3 times 3, so 9. So a half of 9 is 4.5, and we're in centimetres squared. So that is how we can calculate the area of a triangle in three various situations. As a right angled triangle, as a triangle where we know the base and the height, and this type of triangle where it's been slanted over its side, and we've got other sides involved, that we don't need to use, okay? And that's how we do it.